Okay, and my special guest tonight is Jennifer Wall, the winemaker for Barefoot. Now, most people think of Barefoot as a bubbly, and it certainly is. But Barefoot also makes what we call still wines, or wines that don't have bubbles in them. And that's what we're doing tonight, is we have a combination of both still wine and bubbly wine. And that's why Jen came all the way down from Northern California, brought her wines. This has, this is a unique wine, as she mentioned, the different varietals coming from different parts of the world. Here, when you swallow this wine, it has what I call a long, lingering finish. And that means that when you swallow it, you can still taste it for a period of time. Where most wines, about the time you swallow it, it's gone. You've got to have another sip to remember what it's like. But here, it just hangs on for a while. And that's an actual uh, privilege, really. It's a good thing. And, uh, you know, I talked a little bit earlier about the alcohol content and all that stuff. <laughs> she did it again. Now, here she brought in juice from four different countries. And she made this wine. And guess what? It's not 14, 15, 16 percent. It's 13.5 alcohol. So she's there. It's a food wine. So yeah. buy some and try some. You will definitely like it. And if you don't know about how to make a mango barbecue sauce, send me an email. I'll be happy to send you a recipe. But that's what the chef has done here is this mango barbecue sauce on these pork ribs is killer. What do you think of the, of the blend? The two together. Pairs very well, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's what, uh, that's what this business is all about. I'm going to ask you now, you make, I don't know how many total flavors that you have. Fifteen still wines and six sh champagnes. <laughs> <laughs> well, my question is, do you have a favorite? Or are you going to tell me, well, it depends on what I'm about to eat. Um, you know, I actually, because we're making these wines and the style of winemaking I like, yeah. I like them all, of course. Sure. So, uh, food plays a, an important role because all of the wines are designed to be food friendly. Um, there are wines that I enjoy more often than others, but there's no wine that I like more than the others. Right. You know, you can find the most expensive one or the most, uh, advertising to promote one or whatever, but that has nothing to do with what's important and that's how it tastes. If yeah, you and we have um, wine and food pairing suggestions on all of our wines on our website, barefootwine.com. And we have recipes to pair with our wines. So if you say, go onto our website and say, I want to make a recipe that pairs well with Merlot tonight or Cabernet Sauvignon or Shiraz or whatever varietal that you have in, in your home, uh, we can give you a list of recipes to create and they're all easy recipes with easy to find ingredients that are affordable and it's really a helpful website. The best way to smell or, or taste a wine is the following. If you'll take your glass and swirl it for about I say 10 seconds. Now, some people swirl it, swirl it twice, stick their nose in it, and say, I don't smell anything. Well, that's because you haven't given the effervescence that is allowed to go around the bowl of the, the wine if you don't do it for a while. So if you can kind of just create a 10-second rule and, and swirl it for 10 seconds, then stick your nose in there and take a whiff, you'll say, wow, I didn't know that. Somebody told me uh, cherry. Uh, I know what cherry smells like, but you know what? I think I did smell cherry. Let me try it again. The next thing you know, you're going to sit down with somebody that knows maybe a little bit more about wine than you, and they're going to say, well, here's raspberry, here's cherry, here's uh, vanilla, here's this, here's that, and you're going to start picking those nuances up. And when you do that, you're going to enjoy your wine so much more. Because now, because it has maybe a little vanilla, you wonder, where did that vanilla come from? Well, it didn't come from the grapes. It came from the barrel that the wine was aged in. Because the only thing that can give vanilla a flavor into wine is the oak that it was actually aged in. Just as an example. But there's so many other things that are natural with the grapes. And each grape is a little bit different. So Merlot doesn't smell like Cabernet, and Cabernet doesn't smell like Chardonnay or Sauvignon Blanc. They all have their own little personalities. That's exactly right. That's what we call varietal correctness, or reflecting the grape's true personality. There you go. Yep. That's exactly right as well. So, uh, see, she knows what she's talking about, folks. <laughs> this is for real. And, and if once you get that uh, in your head, so to speak, you're going to find you enjoy the wine even more. And that's truly what this is all about. Because... Wine is food. A meal is a meal, but with a glass of wine, it's a celebration from casual gatherings to formal affairs. Wine celebrates any event. 
So, I'm hoping that you're sitting back, relaxed, and listening to what we have to say this evening, and are jealous, if nothing else, <laughs> about some of the food that we've been able to pair with some of these barefoot wine. And I have to tell you, no, it's not bubbly only. It is still wine or bubbly wine at Barefoot. But Barefoot's the name, Pinky Toe is the game. Thanks for choosing and listening to Wines Du Jour from the left coast, from the east coast, and all around the world on the radio, the radio uh, and on television. From Las Vegas, Nevada, I'm Les Kincaid. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching Wines Du Jour. We had a great time tonight. And the winemaker from uh, Barefoot, her name is Jen Wall. Remember her? What a sweetheart. She's not only smart and beautiful, but she really knows how to make some wonderful wine. So if you haven't tried uh, Barefoot, make sure you do. And when you come to Las Vegas, search out Blue Water Restaurant in Henderson. You'll be glad you did.